Whew, just got home from work, finished cutting the grass out here, and I got something in the mail today, and I, I need your help. I need to figure out what to do with it. Let me flip this around, I'll show you what I'm talking about. I had a customer last week that bought two nukes from me. If you saw that video of me putting the, the bees from the nukes into his beehives, well, he bought these Happy My Eight beehives. And I was really impressed with them, so I thought I'd just order one myself and try it out. So it came today. I ordered it Sunday, and here it is on Thursday. It's already here. But I got a little dilemma. I have those hives back there in my backyard, and I need to figure out which bees are going to go in this hive. I want you to help me figure that out. My goal, I think, ultimately, if I really like this thing over time, is to get mostly pretty much all my backyard bees in hives like this just because it'll look better and I think the bees will thrive in them and I just I'm, that's kind of my goal but they are quite expensive so I'm gonna have to do this slowly so I just want you to help me figure out which one I should put which bees I should put in this hive so I'm gonna get just get my bee jacket on and hopefully they won't get after me I'm not gonna use smoke or anything we're gonna peek in each hive there's four three or four options right there probably Probably the three white ones right there. We'll pick in each one. And I'll let you help me figure out which one we should, which bees we should put in this after my beehive. Okay, so these four beehives are probably the first four that are gonna go in the after my hives if I do like it. Um, probably only the blue one alone for now. So let's just look at these three. Let me give you a little history on them. Now, the blue hive is a seven frame beehive, so it's kind of a little bit weird. Um, it's something I did several years ago and I've had a hive sitting here with bees in it since I think 2014. And I don't think it's ever died out, so I've just left it alone. I did replace the queen last year <clears throat> and uh, we'll peek in there real quick. I'm not gonna go through any of these hives right now because I just want this to be a really short little video. We'll peek in here, but I'll show you what they're doing. They are doing well. So those bees. But I think I'm gonna leave that one alone. So this is this is gonna be hive number one. Right here. The original hive that was in here was the one or the first video I did on this hive, I think, was last year, if I'm not mistaken, when I did the one to three splits. Uh, as of this past weekend, this hive was in a three deep nuke and I put it in a double deep tim frame, a box of foundation right here and a box of comb right here. So I haven't, let's just peek in here and see what they're doing. See how many are up here in the top. There's a few up here, but they're just starting to work their way up here. I <clears throat> don't think they're doing much up here yet. It's just, they just are, probably get I've done a couple of splits off of here this is a new queen in here that's just started laying so they're probably a little bit behind it's going to take them a little while to fill that up but we've got a honey flow just going full bore right now and we got privet about to bloom so I'm guessing they're going to fill those honey supers up pretty quick <clears throat> this hive right here if I'm not mistaken was a similar situation I think a couple of weeks ago if I remember right put them in this double deep um you know a three uh, it was a three deep nuke with lots of bees in it put them in here and uh, i think they're doing extremely well I'll look in here and see kind of a similar thing don't know if a lot of honey's coming in here yet or not but uh there we go but <clears throat> that's hive number two hive number one right there hive number two right here and this is hive number three this hive right here, I took the original queen out of the one with the brown bottom there, put it in a nuke over here, <clears throat> basically made a split, um, a nuke and just moved them into a 10 frame box, maybe a couple, three weeks ago. They exploded into that. And then I put the second box on here, I think this past weekend, or within the past few days. As you can see they're just kind of starting to move up in here. This has mostly uh, drawn comb in it. I want to give them the best chance to explode up in here and then move up into some honey super soon. So this is gonna be hive number three for our little competition, our little decision um, making situation here. 
So what I want you to do is vote in the comment section. Tell me which bees I should put in the FMIA hive. I will tell you my thoughts on it here real quickly. Um, those two over there already have some honey boxes stacked on them and I don't have any off of my supers. And so I would have to put those supers on top of it. And uh, the upper my hive is, is one of the darker colored, kind of tan colored ones. So they wouldn't really match, but I've heard that those supers will fit on the upper my hive just fine. So if I put them in there, I'll just stack the white boxes on top of it, which may look a little funny until I get some of those ordered, those upper my supers. But I was kind of leaning a little bit towards this one because it is a double deep right now. The upper my hive is a double deep and it would take us a little while for them to develop and fill that, that second deep up. And by then, maybe I can afford to buy a couple of Apimaya Supers to put on there. Ultimately, I'm thinking all these hives hopefully will end up in Apimaya Hives. It's just, that's a lot of money to try and fork out right now uh, at the beginning of bee season. So got hive number one right here. Hive number two right here. Hive number three right here. I'll probably go with whatever you choose. Just leave your comments or your vote in the comment section below and we'll see what you come up with. Thought it'd be kind of fun, just thought I'd make this short little video and then I will, sh I will do another video uh, when I actually unbox the hive and put bees in there, show you how it looks. All right guys, thanks for watching this short video. <clears throat> Hope you enjoyed it, hope you'll participate and I appreciate all of you. Please subscribe if you like. On to the next video.